don't even know what the lie is. That's a good one. I don't know. Big fish. That's a good one. Good job, guys. high school created a bass fishing club and our major tournament of the year was states on Lake St. Clair. Before the tournament we did a little bit of research watching YouTube videos and reading articles and we got down a game plan of kind of an area and a strategy we would use and the baits we'd use and it ended up working out pretty good. We pretty much stayed in the same drift line all day working from 8 feet of water all the way out to 12 even 13 feet of water and we were catching fish periodically we weren't catching numbers but what we were catching was quality fish. So pretty much the whole time we were fishing, we were working with three different type of baits. And our first bait that we were using was a swim bait. Now I was using a uh, ghost baits, shad looking swim bait. Uh, Alex, my partner, was using um, one very similar to this. And what we were doing basically was casting it out and uh, letting it hit the bottom. And then just a nice slow retrieve, bouncing it back off the bottom and uh, they were hammering it mainly in the falls. When it falls, that tail does this crazy spiraling and uh, that just really entices them to hit. For equipment, I was running it on a seven foot, medium heavy Abu Garcia to get a good solid cast and a good solid hook set on that single hook. Next, which is really textbook for fishing Lake St. Clair, is a drop shot rig. I was using a ghost baits finesse worm, kind of like a natural green. I was switching back and forth from a light green to a dark green and uh, running about, I had a few different setups from like 12 to 15 inches from the uh, actual worm to the weight. And what you do with this is, especially if you're on a drift line, what you can do is cast it out behind your boat and just kind of bounce it off the bottom. And that weight, you want to have contact with the bottom. You want to feel contact with the bottom and just bounce it out. And with this drop shot rig, that worm has so much finesse in there. And when it's in the water, that hook is sticking straight out and that just entices the fish to strike and it's pretty awesome. Running it with a uh, 10 pound braid and then eight pound fluorocarbon leader and running it on a seven foot medium action spinning rod setup. Pretty much my top bait for the tournament was this deep diving four to nine foot SR5 Rapala. And it kind of looks like a uh, crayfish was, you know, fishing on Lake St. Clair, Smallies love uh, crayfish. 
So what I was doing is when we were fishing right at about 10 feet of water, I cast it out, get a good long cast, and I stick my pole in the water and give it a fast retrieve. And then what that was doing was getting it down, scraping the bottom or just about a foot above. And that really was, I mean, I caught my biggest fish, which was a, a over a four pound smallie, and that was the biggest fish for the tournament on this guy. And I was running it um, on an Abu Garcia 6'6 medium action rod, just because of how light the lure was. So there was our top three baits, some of the techniques we had going on. And we ended up pulling the win on Lake St. Clair, one of our first major tournaments as partners, me and Alec. And now we head down to Kentucky Lake in the end of July. It's gonna be an awesome time, looking really forward to it.